Hi, this is for uh, Cuban Collector. You want to know if we have a humidor and what's in my humidor. I absolutely do have a humidor. This is the Don Carlos, the man, the legend humidor. I picked up, uh, I think I've had it close to a year. It's got to be right around there. So beautiful, beautiful uh, humidor. Um, I think retail on these is around five fifty six hun. It's got an awesome back door, so I could put all my higher end cigars. Um, the quick story behind the back door: it's a nice little touch from Don Carlos. If you were one of his friends uh, and he really liked you, he would pull out of his inside pocket uh, for his really good cigars and would hand that to you. So it's a nice little touch to the uh, the Don Carlos, the legend box. Uh, Open this up, and I'll show you the sticks I got inside. I got some, a uh, little bit of everything. There we go. I see all the beautiful uh, the wood in there with the nice gold uh, inlay on the handles. Um, can I give you some of the uh, the sticks at the top? I mean, the uh, the cigar bands working it around. So these are some of my sticks that I have. Uh, I need to fill it up. It's been a while. Um, these are Bovita packs, and that's my Bovita temperature gauge. It'll send an alert if my humidor is open or if it falls below a certain temperature. And these Bovita packs um, keep the humidity temperature right at 69 in my box. That's where I want my cigars at, 69 temp. Uh, different areas, different climates. Uh, I know you're in Miami. Uh, it, the humidity on your Bovita packs could be higher. Uh, or lower. I'm not. I'm not sure what the area is, but uh, the cigar guys that I go to, um, they they recommend 69. Um, but the treated the wood, I have still haven't treated it because the Bovita packs basically do the job of what I was gonna do is wipe this down with distilled water and then uh, treat it. So, uh, but we'll get into some of the sticks I have. I have uh, the nasty Freitas. These are good little sticks for you know seven eight bucks. Uh, something you could smoke through, you know, on a quick lunch break, half hour break, uh, just to get that good cigar flavor. Um, this right here is an Oliva V, the Milanio. This is a fantastic cigar. This is, I believe, 2014 Cigar of the Year. Um, the Last Rites. Uh, this is a good dark Maduro. Um, these right here are called the Fat Bottom Bettys. Uh, these are, actually, these, these cigars have some great names, too. Uh, the Fat Bottom Betty, this is like, when you put your lips right here, it's like a straight sugar. Just a sugar. It's just a funky stick, and I like it. It's sweet, but it's it's got a dark Maduro flavor. There's an Oliva V series, uh, a nub. Uh, tonight I'll probably smoke something. Um, actually, I picked one up a few weeks ago, and I haven't gotten around to it. This is a uh, Kentucky Fire Cut, cured. Uh, the Muwat. That stands for my Uzi weighs a ton. Um, can't wait to fire that G thing up. And then these over here, these are some of my higher end. These are all start at fifteen dollars and up. These are uh, twelve, thirteen, and below on the right. Uh, this is the Flying Pig out of uh, Drew Estate, the Undercrown. These are fantastic cigars. I love it. Got the little pigtails tied off. This is a Saint, another Flying Pig. This is out of Liga Pravada, number nine. These are fantastic cigars. This one I really highly recommend. This is this is one of my favorites. It's about a $20 stick right here. There's about three of them in there. So these are these are my good ones. I love those. Um, this right here is the Lost City. This is a Arturo Fuente Open Sex, 2015. The BBMF, which stands for Big Bad Motherfucker. Um, I have two of these, about a case of these usually run about a thousand. Um, these are fantastic sticks, about a hundred dollars if you could find them. Uh, but being, you know, they're, they're scarce, you're probably going to pay a little bit more unless you got a really cool cigar guy. Uh, this Padron right here, it's my 80 series. This is a beautiful stick. This one's about 50, 60 bucks. Um, my Lost City, another Opus X. Now this, if you've ever seen the movie Lost City with uh, Andy Garcia, uh, the the part of the movie where they're filming um, the tobacco field was specifically grown for that movie, 15 acres, and these cigars are the leaves are from that movie, so that's pretty cool right there. Um, the cigar, the the whole cigar culture is just fantastic. You don't inhale them. 
I mean, if you do, you're probably not going to live very long. It's all about flavors. Uh, these are my uh, God of Fires, uh, the Prometheus God of Fires. I have a couple of those. These are my uh, these are my 2017 Eye of the Shark Cigar of the Year. This is fantastic. It's a box cut. I uh, just got some. I got some really good sticks. Um, and then some other ones just, but I, I smoke a lot too. Uh, but if you're just getting into the cigars, I know Nate Top 85 401, you can appreciate a good smoke. Uh, nice, smooth. It's all about decompressing. Um, but what helped me too is uh, a lot of these flavor profiles. Uh, so if you Google it and somebody did a review and just kind of go over their review and they should tell you, you know, you'll have uh, the first part. You, you might pick up some... Um, some citrusy leather, you know, something like that. Then you might go into like a little bit of like a wood, a dry wood flavor. Then you could go into a cocoa. And then the, the, the final third could be uh, like some nice pepper spice, you know, or it could be pepper spice in the beginning. It's all different. Everything's it's like a bottle of wine. There's all kinds of variations um, that you have. And uh, it, it's, it's just goes on. It's, the abyss of cigars is, is out of this world. I could go on forever. Um, and then there's different kinds of cuts. You could do V cut, punch, all that. And when you do a cigar, you see this little cap right here. Most of these caps are just glued on, added to the top, and you would just cut it right there. So I have my cutter right here, straight cut, and then I have my torch. And when you light the cigar, you're torching it because. First, you're just toasting the ends, and you don't want to power smoke a cigar if you're going to do one. You want to sit there and let it, the the, uh, the cherry, just nice and easy because you want to get all the oils and the full flavor out of it. You don't want to sit there and just keep puffing and puffing and puffing. You know, you're, you're going to ruin the cigar. You just want a nice, good, slow smoke. You know what I mean? Just enjoy it. This right here is probably about an hour long burn, so it's a total decompress. Or you know, wake up in the morning after you take a shit. You can grab a cup of coffee, whatever you want to do, and start your day, start your weekend. I mean, it's it's fantastic, you know. It's just it's it's kicked back, it's laid back. It's not for everybody. I'm not, I'm not promoting it, but I do enjoy it. You know, I don't smoke cigarettes no more. I quit that, you know, probably seven eight years ago. I smoked for like 15 years, dude. That was just a nasty habit. People always compliment too. They're like, dude, that that smells good. What is that? You know, it's to me, it's what men smoke. I don't. I'm not gonna vape. Not, not that there's something wrong with vaping, it's just, it ain't for me, so, but yeah, this is my sticks, there's another Olivia, so I've got the, another Muat, smaller one, I might start with this one, my Uzi weighs a ton, what a great name, so, Cuban collector, I appreciate it, bro, my family brother, I mean, my Cubano, you know, send me one of them, I know you got some connections back home, man, send me one of them, them real G things, let me get a cigar review on it, huh? So, yeah, that's it. Hey, Cuban Collector, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn this off, man. Talk to you guys later, and I'll see you guys in the comments.